Hello, Mr. Connection, I guess. I just realized I've been watching your videos for like two or three years and I don't know your name. Hmm. My name is Norman and I'm from Canada in Quebec, which explains the weird French accent. Um, I'm making this video with my weird uh, French accent, as you can see. Um, first, to tell you that you were wrong in your humidifier video. And second, to answer your question about why you feel hotter when there's more humidity in the air. So, uh, without further ado, I will start with the first point. Um, all your units were using exactly the same amount of current to work uh, inside your house. And the reason is simple. To evaporate water, you need energy. And evaporating one liter of water at a given temperature always takes exactly the same amount of energy. If you use a heated type uh, evaporator, then you directly provide the heat source to the water. It will evaporate using exactly the amount of energy it needs to evaporate. If you use any other type of cold mist evaporator, so uh, like the wick ones or the uh, uh, sonic ones or whatever, the water will get in the air, sip the energy out of the air, and it's your furnace that's going to give the extra wattage. I don't have the exact formula here, but you can check it out online. When you use, when you want to evaporate one liter of water, it will always take exactly the same amount of energy. So whether you use the energy on the device that evaporates the water or you use it inside your furnace, it's always going to be the same. And now why you feel better when better, not bitter, uh, when there's humidity in the air, it's for two reasons. First of all, if the air is extremely dry, water on your skin will tend to evaporate more so you'll be colder because the water when it evaporates it goes away with the heat you have on your body and second uh, damp air can store more heat it's like a vicious circle so warmer air, warmer air can store more water and damper air can store more heat because the, the, the air itself is an, an insulator it doesn't convey heat or energy really well. It needs particles in, in it to convey the energy. So the water inside, uh, the water that's suspended in the air is what will carry most of the energy, the heat energy in your house. So having uh, water in the air will improve the performance of your furnace to eat the entire house. So I'm just, uh, I just did this video because I'm a big fan of your videos. I'm a bit like you. I dismantle everything and try to learn how it works and nobody cares. So I love watching your, your videos because uh, we both do pretty much the same thing. I just never did videos on it and I might start do do some in French uh, for other people that don't care about those things to watch. So thank you for your video and I hope my explanations will help in the future for, for you. I don't know. So have a nice day. Bye.